So what's like a handler's role in the relationship? What do they do to get a pup ready? Like, what do they do in that relationship? That's kind of an interesting one because being a handler is not necessarily a sexual role. Some yeah. people will, like for me, there is sexual charge to human pup play, but a lot of people don't like sex and pup play being together. Uh, well, I have done it personally. Mm. I actually really enjoy it. Mm. So, I mean, it's, it's a well, little you... odd, it's a little taboo sometimes, but... Yeah, I but know. I think if, yeah. if you're in the headspace, then yeah. that, that presence of now, that being focused on the, the sensory, mm -hmm. I think can be really good as a sexual thing. But a handler doesn't necessarily have a sexual role. Mm -hmm. um, and so, one of the big questions is, oh, are they my partner? And no, they're your handler. A lot of people worry that if they have a handler, then does that mean that they're, they're cheating on their boyfriend and all that sort of stuff? So no. I wish Amp was here to discuss this because he's he's got the handler. Yeah. Right. And he's not he's single. Yeah. yeah. Not with me, guys. I'm not dirtying him. I oh think that the more you know, <laughs> available for pup play dates. Yeah. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> Um, I'm in a unique position in that my partner is also my, my, my trainer and handler as mm -hmm. well. But um, I think it's just important that you're aware that um, it's about negotiating. You can negotiate the role. As a pup, it's really important that you, when you meet, your, meet with your handler initially, is that you talk about what you want to get out of it. And um, I'm a big believer in transaction and that's one of the things that I always, um, that we teach our pups mm -hmm. is that you need to learn to transact as a human pup. So yeah. do you, so, do you guys... No, I'm not even familiar with, what is so, the term transact? So transaction is an acting term, right? And okay. human pup play, there's a lot of acting in it. It's right? true. And if you throw yourself into the role, then you can really enjoy it. But yeah. a transaction is like, what do I want? So decide what you want right? Yes. Then you decide what am I willing to give to get what I want? Okay. So you would say to your handler, today I would like to um, have a bit of a, a pup wrestle and as part of that I am I'm willing to also do some training with you as well. Okay. Or yeah. I'm willing for, for you to do some photography or stuff like that. Yeah. But transaction can work in a lot of different things. So if, if I'm talking with somebody in a work environment, um, it, you, when you learn transaction, you quickly learn, you go, okay, if somebody's offering you a deal, you say, you know, I would like you to, to do X, Y, and Z for me. And then you can go back and say, well, look, I'm willing to do X, Y, and Z. However, I will need you to, um, could you please um, make sure that the calendar's clear that, that I'll have time to do that. Yeah. Okay. And with transaction as well, it's not, hard and fast. You can say, this is what I want, this is what I'm willing to do, and then you negotiate the differences. Whoa. So if somebody says... Negotiation. Said, yeah, absolutely. <laughs> yeah. And pups, this negotiation happens with you standing on two feet. You don't do it when you're on the pup floor. No. You've got to do it before mm. you go into that. Right. Um, and if you don't like the answers that you're getting, that's a really good time to say, look, it sounds great, but... I think I left the iron on. Oh, okay, yeah. No, but like, yeah. seriously, like people say, how do I meet a handler, right? And that, that have you seen that bot that's on recon or something that says, my name is Sir, and you will only ever address me as Sir. The oh, only yeah. answers you can give yeah, is yes or no. Right. I don't know who wrote that bot, but terrible person. Could you imagine that person as a as fucking an handler? Oh. You will sit in the corner and look at the floor. It's like, oh, this is going to be a really That's... fun session. No. <laughs> imagine that. Well, I'd masturbate on your back. Okay, well, that's not fun for me. <laughs> yeah. yeah, yeah. Um. So yeah, when you're meeting a handler, consider it a job interview. Yeah. But it's not it's for both people. You're getting to know each other and to see whether you actually match. Kind of if, like a date. Because it, it is a relationship thing, but it's not the same as a date. It's not the same. Yeah. It's a little bit of a different date. But after a while, when, you, when, you, when, you, when you've been a pup long enough, it's a date. <laughs> it's just like, oh, yeah, sure, yeah, we, met, yeah. We, we had a bit of a pup play. Um, but I think it is important that you 
you treat it as if you're going into a relationship because there is going to be you're going to be putting yourself into a vulnerable position yeah. so it's important for you to be able to enjoy being vulnerable you have to feel safe if you don't feel safe with somebody then you're probably right so trust trust is clearly the biggest issue here. yeah yeah now remember to be able to differentiate between anxiety and of and butterflies of anticipation on what's going to happen mm -hmm. And fear though that oh. sometimes you'll your trainer might say to you well today we're gonna to try the slightly bigger tail oh. right yeah and some people will be a bit anxious about that but they'll go okay okay you know I'll, I'll yeah. give it a go we'll we'll see I'll go in with the true Aussie spirit of I'll, I'll, I'll have a bash <laughs> um, oh. but if he pulls out a triple XL tail and you are an anal virgin then that's him just being an asshole. Yeah. And you need to be able to go, well, that's not going to happen. Yeah. You can, you can hit me on the head with that as much as you like. It's not going up my ass. There's, an, there's clearly an exchange there. You got to trust them. Yeah. And, and if they do something that's out of your trust, that's not what you want, then yeah. you've got to make sure you say it. You've got to yeah. be clear, be articulate, because yeah. after it's happened, is too late. Yeah. Just well, because you're a puppy doesn't mean you have... You don't have an opinion. Yeah, you're a human pup. Yeah. So you actually have the ability to go, you know what, I don't want to do that. Yeah. Or say, for example, if you've got particular triggers and we all have things that, that we don't like or it's like, mm -hmm. no, I don't want you to do that. In the negotiation before you get to know a handler, you should be talking about the stuff. Well, I really like X, Y, and Z and I really hate ABC. Yeah. And be clear about, say what you want, say what you don't want, then negotiate differences. Right. Transact. Exactly. Transact. Yeah. More you know. Da, 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 da. <laughs>